I'm being honest, this video was inevitable because if you've been watching my House Strong series or my page in general and you hear my terms like black hole, solar system level, multi-solar system level, you more than likely probably heard me mention Gladiator in either my Hulk video, my Hercules video, or some other powerhouses when I power scale characters to figure out how strong their strength is, lifting strength, striking strength, and just raw power in general and their raw power output. Gladiator is one of those beings that is very, very powerful and like one of those characters being very, very powerful, he has a very interesting interesting ability of being the more confident he is the stronger he gets which can get vague at times because there's no actual scale to it. it's similar to the Hulk like there's no actual scale to okay Hulk is 100% angry 120% angry like you know what I'm saying there's no scale so the comics are not going to specify what level of confidence he's at so you kind of have to use your own judgment and wisdom and speculation to really figure out how strong he is when it comes to confidence for me i'm not a gladiator expert but i've done deep research on him based on all the videos you've probably seen in the past of me really mentioning him with his black hole feats and stuff like that and uh but i guess it would be safe to just for me to go over gladiator and just show you how strong he actually is if you're like me and you watch the x-men the animated series that was like one of my first times I actually seen Gladiator and I was impressed with his power is that time when he like fought Juggernaut, Juggernaut in this animated show, not canon to comics by the way, punched Gladiator and he didn't even flinch. And that's what really let me know, oh, this dude's a powerhouse. Alrighty, let's see how strong Gladiator actually is. This is light work for somebody on his level of power. He was able to catch a bullet, of course, you know. I'm jumping around in place, but he was able to count 10 billion micro sentinels within moments. This is like, yeah, I just jumped from crazy. I know I did that on purpose just to show you. Like, I showed you an easy feat of him catching a bullet, then jumping to something crazy like this. He's been shown to have pretty decent combat speed. I've mentioned this a billion times in my videos before that he has nanosecond reaction time, be able to catch a punch within a nanosecond's time. That's a light speed punch. He's able to react. And who's to say that's their limitations? This is probably them just fighting, even though, they, yeah, high premium's a beast, so he's more than likely fighting hard. Outrace that blast of photons. You, uh, that's Galactus, by the way. Yeah, that dude's kind of overpowered. He tied up this being known as Cannonball, like, really, really fast. He has been shown through comments to have ridiculous travel speed. Even some could say he might be comparable to Silver Surfer due to him being a space-based character, having to fly after ships. There was a occasion he was able to fly after this scroll ship through space. It was stated that he was able to fly to Earth at 100 times the speed of light. So, yeah, he's massively faster than light at least. Another faster than light speed feat. One of those characters that some could say could galaxy hop. Yeah, this is ridiculous. Yeah, just to give you an idea of how the galaxies are located. He flew from the Shi'ar galaxy to Asgardia. Yeah, that's yeah. He literally galaxy hopping. This is this is ridiculous, dude. Asgardia has been stated to be located near Saturn too, by the way. Yep, near Saturn. It's casual stuff. Be able to fly over 100 million miles in moments. He's a light speed character, of course. He'll be able to do this. By the way, he just destroyed a planet casually here. Just yeah, just me. I'm just showing you speed feats and just accidentally running across planet busting feats. That's how strong this guy is. Like I said, he might be one of those characters that could be comparable to Silver Surfer when it comes to speed. Being able to fly light years in freaking mere moments. Like this is ridiculous, dude. He's fast enough to be able to catch fire. You know, we you know, like the atmosphere re-entry type of stuff. He flew from another solar system to Earth. In a matter of moments, yeah, this dude is ridiculously fast. I'm surprised you don't hear him in more speed discussions, if I'm being honest, when it comes to travel speed. I'm pretty sure the writers do not know, like, calculations, but man, these writers are really making these people do ridiculous stuff, especially when it comes to the speed, blitzing through this person. Some, a lot, some people like to, like to call Gladiator like this Marvel Superman. I think that's personally either Century or Hyperion, in my personal opinion. But yeah, I can see how. Like su Superman with a Mohawk, I guess. But it, you know, he was able to fight Human Torch one time. Really blew his flame out, like just with super breath. Oh, that's not mention he slugged it out with characters like Wonder Man. Yeah, Wonder Man is powerful. Check out my video about him as well. Slugged it out with him. He encased him in ice too with his super cold breath. Of course he would, but yeah, he broke out. But it's still cool. He has super breath, ice breath. Heat vision can reduce so much force, it can shatter asteroids. He can hurt powerhouse level beings like Jane Foster Thor. Oh yeah, he's fought Jane Foster Thor too. She has ridiculous feet, no matter if you hate her or not. Yeah, he's that strong. What is heat vision too? Oh yeah, yeah, they went at it by the way in this fight. He seems to be durable to elemental stuff too. You're probably wondering, what the heck, Ivan? Show me some flashy feats. You always mention him in your videos about these flashy feats. He has like black hole level this, black hole level that. Where's his flashy feats at? Don't worry, don't worry. I'm gonna go straight to his flashy feats right now. Like I know this is early in the video for me to do this, but I'm gonna do it right now just for you guys. Even though I went over this earlier, <laughs> he was able to destroy an entire planet. Literally a few blows. Actually shocking that he's actually one of those few characters that's not super mega, mega popular. And he actually has planet busting feats. He can like kind of casually overpower She-Hulk level people like Miss Marvel. 
Okay, y'all remember the uni power? Like this like infinite power that makes you remember the time Spider Man had the power cosmic? Yeah. This there was a time Invisible Woman had the power cosmic. Gladiator was still able to fight on par with her. Like Invisible Woman by herself was already underrated as heck. Yeah. Yeah, and many of his fights with other powerhouses, yeah, he's been stated to have enough power to push with enough force to pulverize a planet. Yeah, he has that much raw power in his raw strength and lifting strength. The crazy thing about Gladiator is that he has a lot of writer intent and lore when it comes to his feats. It's not that he has the most flashy feats, but he does have that statement with that black hole and stuff like that, but still. He's even stated out of his own mouth that he can punch people as far all the way to the sun. Like, this is ridiculous. He's been stated that he can fly through stars. Yeah, that level of durability and power. Pretty much scales to his attack power. I said before, he has a lot of writer intent. Thanos himself believes Gladiator to be too comparable to Hulk in raw strength and power, which is, you know, I'm just going over some statements and lower the writer intent to really back up why he is that black hole level being. Gladiator has fought a lot of people and fought like, multiple people at once at times, even fought this Phoenix Force Cyclops. Yeah, having a straight up beam struggle. Hugs it out with him. There's even a statement saying he could rip apart black holes, whatever that means, concreting himself in a black hole being. Not only is he stated this right here, but has a scan above that of him slugging it out with a Phoenix Force user. Keep note that Phoenix Force users have amped street level characters to the point where they can physically knock out characters like Thor. He can even wrestle planets out of the orbit, collapse stars with his bare hands. Yeah, more writer intent. Like, it's pretty concrete, guys. Said to have alpha level plus power in a class like that, which is the same class as Better Ray Bill, by the way. It was implied right here that he's in the same range of power as Hulk, you know, putting Hulk and him in the same sentence like this. And they have a weapon, a gladiator, and they say, oh, this could turn Hulk, this can hurt Hulk. So they, they're trying to say they're in the same range of power. You know what I'm saying? It's subliminal. We'll admit in this fight, yeah, the Hulk um, was kind of messing them up. I'm not going to lie. But at the same time, it shows how deadly his heat vision is. His heat vision being strong enough to be able to pierce somebody this durable. That means it's not only heat, I mean, because heat wouldn't do this to Hulk, right? So it was evidently the force of the actual heat vision, like the blood piercing force of it for it to even penetrate Hulk's skin, which is impressive. Gladiator has a lot of power. I mean, his writer intent is really there. He's fought like pretty much every powerhouse you can even think of. Jane Foster Thor defeated characters like Drax in a single hit. Thing, yeah, the thing is this strong, by the way. Yeah, this should not be slept on. Our house fights with characters like Wonder Man, or as slugged out with Thor level beings consistently, like Eric Masterson. Characters like Battery Bill, like Black Bolt himself. The crazy thing about Gladiator is that a being that's weaker to him, Kid Gladiator, you know, so they should be scalable, considers Quicksilver's speed unimpressive and Trust me, yo, Quicksilver is not as slow as you think. So this is a speed feat for real. As powerful as Gladiator is, I will not, I'm not going to lie. He has some pretty garbage weaknesses. Like Radiation, for example. He's in a room with Radiation and his, his strength gets weakened really bad. It's stuff called Nega Radiation, whatever that means. The agony from Radiation, like in this fight, Radiation is just not his stuff. Also, his biggest weakness is probably his confidence. Their race is weird. Oh, they don't have any confidence. They can just die from stuff like this. Yeah yeah it's it's that simple it's really psychological like they can really go on some they can really be on some street level stuff if they like doubt themselves there's even times gladiator has actually been powerless like completely powerless when he was doubted himself so yeah that's a that weakness of confidence people probably thought he was confident he would just be like a lower level of superhuman like no if he gets unconfident he can actually go all the way down to street level if he's not like completely no confident, like depowered like, I thought there was a limit to his, like, if his confidence was 0%, right, I thought, like, the weakest he could get was, like, maybe planetary or moon level range because, you know, he's black hole level at peak confidence, right? But I was thinking like that, but not necessarily. Like, he can go all the way down. Did I mention he slugged it out with characters like Richard Ryder, Nova? He's fought it out with some powerhouses, though. A little more scans of him fighting Eric Masters and Thor to prove that he's on that level of the powerhouses for sure. Anybody that can get in a slugfest with any Thor is at black hole level confirmed. This dude might be the king of character statements. It was stated that not all the X-Men, even all the X-Men combined couldn't take on Gladiator. Characters like Vulcan can't even put a scratch on Gladiator evidently. And you see that? Yeah. Raw power. I used this feat earlier, but I also didn't leave it. I also left out some information. There was this explosion that was going to wipe out half the solar system and... Reed Richards thought it was debris coming towards him, but it was actually Gladiator. It's implied that he took care of that. I right, books about Gladiator just to give you an idea of his strength and where the writers intend for him to be with power scaling and lore. Page two, page three, page three again. A few more scans left, y'all. Pause the video if you want to read all of this. A couple more entries, y'all. Don't worry. As you can see, last encyclopedia I'm going to show you about Gladiator. 
Well, guys, it's been real. I hope you guys enjoyed my Gladiator feat run. Did you guys know Gladiator was this strong? Was you impressed? I know you probably expected a lot more flashy feats based on how many videos I always show him. It's just that one main feat about him talking about Black Hole that concretes him. And the fact that all those raw, powerful people he always fights, like, you know, Jay Foster Thor. You know, he fought the Hulk even though he got messed up in that fight. But he fought a lot of other people like Eric Masters and Thor and things like that. Black Bolt himself. People like that. He has very consistent feats. Has ridiculous travel speed. Galaxy hopping travel speed. I mean, you can one could say you could scale his travel speed to his attack power if he just charges at you with all that speed in an attack, right? You know, but that's just me rambling. But yeah, he's ridiculously powerful. What did you guys think it is? Even though a lot of his feats happen off panel, like that, you know, him ripping on part of Black Hole. We never actually seen him rip part of Black Hole, but since it's consistently stated over and over again and how his race works, they have almost limitless potential via their confidence and how their powers work. But yeah, their confidence could also be a weakness too because they can also go like down to human level when it comes to raw power being completely powerless, which can be really annoying. The thing that really shines about Gladiator is his writer intent. Like, I said this in a lot of videos, but writer intent, I'm a big fan of writer intent. I feel like writer intent overrules any of what we say. Any calculations, any of that stuff. Even though I will admit some writers don't calculate, so that's what we do actually have to calculate, of course. But, like, there's, I do feel like the overall writer intent is going to overall have more power, and I do think they're intending for him to be on a better and build Silver Surfer-ish range, even if he's not exactly equal to them on some occasions, and that could be, you know, just chalked up to this confidence. Some could say, well, he's inconsistent. Because that's That could be just the confidence excuse could be used for that. That could be the reason why he's inconsistent. You know, some comics, he might be feeling halfway good. Some, he might not be feeling halfway bad, you know, blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera. But he is classified in the same threat level as characters like Better and Bill. And Better and Bill is definitely scalable to Thor for sure. Like, he is giving Thor a fight even before he even had the Stormbreaker. So, yeah, he's in that range of power confirmed. Not only that, he's actually had battles with Thor characters like that. You know, Jay Foster Thor and Powerhouse like that, like Black Bolt. He's fought people implied with those statements. Not to mention... On top of him actually having the proof with that statement, then he has oh, a whole bunch of statements about other people. Characters in the galaxy that are super powerful, like even Thanos considers him in the Hulkish range, even though I don't necessarily agree. But, you know, I, I feel like he's in that range. But, I mean, yeah, I can agree. You know, he's in that range. You know, if Hulk is normally angered, if Hulk is super crazy angered, that's a different story, of course. But, like, yeah. What did you guys think? Did you, did you guys find this informative? Did you want this to be longer? Do you think it was too long? What do you guys think? Make sure you guys check out the description and for playlists like this. I do a lot of videos like this. Trust me, you do not want to miss out on them playlists. And check out the affiliate links for gear I use and gears I might end up using in the future. There's some cameras I got my eyes on, so you might want to check out that. I don't even have a computer doing this. Matter of fact, I'm filming this in my car. Shocking, right? You might want to freaking check out that gear I have my, in my description below. It might be useful. The USB drive I use, it can transfer files from Android to iPod and Apple and vice versa. It's a really versatile. It's a really good thing. So make sure you click those links. I get a commission. It helps me out. Helps support the channel and things like that. But I guess I'll see you guys next time. Make sure you post some comments down below. Post comments down below. Let me know what you all think. Check out the links in the description. Share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Enjoy the How Strong series.